You gotta stop this right now. You don't have to pretend this is fun for you. I am not pretending. What? I'm not. Really. I, I, I have two kids, right? And I didn't get to go through any of this with either of them. Through what, the vomiting stage? Yeah, no, the beginning oh. stage, I like to call it. Thank you. And it's kind of cool, actually. Oh. Of course it is. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't even think of that. This is a huge deal for you. You deserve to enjoy every second. Oh. Well, I don't know if I'd say that exactly. I don't know if I deserve to. I mean, I did a lot of stuff that I'm not proud of. You know, I walked away from a lot of people that matter. Annie and uh, hurt a lot of people. Are you talking about way back with Aaron and Jonathan? I'm talking about them. I'm talking about the fact that I took off on Greenlee when she was pregnant, you know? And you thought you were doing the right thing. Yeah, but it was the wrong thing, Annie. It was wrong. And it was, it was very, very selfish. And I will not make those mistakes again. I just won't. I'm not worried. Because I, I, know, I know where I am. You know, I'm with you and with Emma and with Spike. I, I'm a father, and I'm not going to leave you. I know. Oh. Whoa. This is... This is my life. And what about your life with Greenlee? We came to Vegas to get away from everything. And everyone. And then out of nowhere, they just show up. For a wedding? It's incredible. Any ones that were missing were Jack and Tad. I know. <laughs> Why do my dad hear us? Do you think he'll be upset? I think he'll be thrilled. Because when we get back to Pine Valley, you know, we can always have a real wedding. He can walk you down the aisle and give you away all of it. I know, but I meant what I said, Aiden. I'm over the whole big wedding bonanza. Today was perfect. As are you, Mrs. Devine. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not really doing that, right? Doing what? The name thing. I, I'm, I'm Greenlee Swine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. Up until two hours ago. No, 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 I'm serious. Hey, there's no way I'm taking your name. I know I've joked about it before, even tried it on for size, but it's not happening. It's just, it's just a name, Greenlee. But it's not. It's my, it's who I am. Okay, well then, well then keep it. And I just assumed that when I got married, that my wife would take my last name, but to be honest, it really doesn't matter. What about everything else? Everything else, what? How much do you expect from me, Aiden? What? How much of myself am I supposed to give? Greenie, where is all this coming from? I need to do it right this time. Unlike last time, with Ryan? I turned myself inside out for him. I became everything he needed me to be, or what I thought he needed me to be. I was so desperate to hang on to him, I, 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 I lost myself. Why? I don't know. I loved him, and I wanted to keep him, and I turned into this stranger, and I don't want to be that person with you. You don't have to be. My life with Greenlee? Just listening to you talk about being a father, it's such a huge part of your life. Okay, so I still don't see how Greenlee fits into that. Well, I'm just saying, what do you think would have happened if you and Greenlee had stayed together? I don't really know. I haven't really given that a lot of thought. It's just, after everything she went through to try to give you a baby, turns out she doesn't even want children. She never did. Yeah, well, it was a, it was a really confusing time, so... Yeah, and I get that. But imagine what your life would have been if it had turned out the way that she wanted to. You'd be married to Greenlee. You'd have a son or a daughter Spike's age. Maybe you'd have more children. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we would. 
But deep down, she wouldn't really want those children, and she'd probably end up presenting you for them. <laughs> idea how it would have ended up, Annie. I don't know why it doesn't even matter. It does matter, Ryan, because you live for your children. You want to give them everything, and if you had possibly ended up with Greenlee... Well, you think somehow it would have hurt the kids or something? I don't know. I'm just saying. Kids are smart. They know when something's wrong. Just like Emma did when we were having our issues. And now? Now she's happier than I've seen her in a long time. We both are. Well, good. You and Emma smiling, that is exactly the way it should be. Don't you dare put this all on me. I'm not. No, this whole ridiculous crackpot bonding excursion here in Vegas, this was not my idea, this was yours. I know, and I regret it. Yeah, well, you know what? It's too late now. No, it's not too late. We can remove ourselves out of other people's lives as soon as we want. Any, any, anytime we want to get rid of their stuff, we can do that. Okay, well, you know what, Zach? They're, they're, this, is, this is big stuff. It's huge. Ryan, it, it, it's like he's dying inside. What? God, I'm, I'm sorry he's dying inside. It's not my problem. Well, you're the one who proclaimed us all family, and look what's happened to it. Annie's up to God knows what. We don't know that. You're the one who said there is something totally off with this woman. Yes, maybe there's something off with her. That's what I said. But but is she nuts? I don't know. Is Ryan very sad? Yes, he's very sad right now. Okay, so you're saying you don't care. What, I, what I'm saying is I want us to live our life on our terms, on somebody else's. Okay, but Zach, there's something We've going on We've lost ourselves here. here. We've lost who we are. And I would like that back. Well, we know that the kids ran over Richie Nova. Right? We got proof of that. But what we don't know is whether he was alive at the time. What makes you think he wasn't? A hunch. Ah, this case is just not fitting together the way it's supposed to. So there's a missing piece. And if I find it, it's going to change everything for Cassandra. For Dre and Colby, too. What about your smile, Ryan? My smile's right here. I'm serious. I need to know that you're happy. For the one millionth time, my family growing every second makes me happy. I love you so much. I'm here for you, okay? And I'm never gonna leave. <laughs> oh, sis. Not exactly I love you back, is it? Oh, yeah, you've really got him pinned with that bun in the oven. But, <laughs> we, this guy, he'd rather be anywhere but here with you. What? What's wrong? I want to go home. What? We, we have the room till tomorrow. Yeah, I know, I just, all, all this talk about families makes me want to go home and spend time with ours. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. I'm not Ryan, you know. I know. And you can be anybody you want to be. Well, that's good. Because I've finally figured out who that is. I know. I fell in love with her, remember? Mm. So you're really okay with me not taking your name? Yeah. I didn't marry you, so our last names would match. It's going to be different this time, Greenlee. No one's going to disappear. No one's going to get lost. There's you. There's me. And there's us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's only so long you can stay in Vegas. Home sounds really good right now. Well, then, home it is, Miss Smythe. Greenlee's married and... Annie and Ryan, they're doing whatever they're doing. And what about us? Where are we? We're right here, together, living our life. Yeah, we sure were, but we're not. We're not living our life. We're in somebody else's life. I don't know what you want me to say to them. I want you to say that it was a mistake to come here, that we shouldn't have done it. Yeah, well, it wasn't my idea. When's the last time the four of us you mean the boys went to the park together? I don't know. 
Yeah, you know what? You're right. We shouldn't be. No, we shouldn't. Let's go home to our boys.